What did you guys think of the final episode of Halo Season 2? I was super excited. I was stoked. And I was just like, could not fucking wait. Because I don't have to watch this show anymore. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, it sucked. It was too rushed. It... <sighs> 100% rushed all the way through. I was concerned that they were going to try to do the entire Halo game in the last episode. Now, they didn't do the entire Halo game in the last episode, but they tr almost tried much. Like the first bit of it. And I, wow. What a, what a journey. Alex? Um, there were some parts of this episode that are fucking hilarious to me. Um, it shouldn't be, Alex. They released the flood and played like quirky romantic comedy music as Janine is running around like touching people. Hi. She's like sticking her fingers in people's mouths, and that's how this. The, a biologist. She's a biologist, by the way. She even says like the reason I got into biology is because your mom. Of course. Why do we go out on the moon? She she's on uh, Onyx. She should. By the know. way, a character we've never ever met before. Yeah, and then she like releases the. Flow. She's like, oh, this has inert spores. Better touch it with my bare hands, and then eat an apple without washing my hands, and then, and then touch science. this guy, this and is then do and it fucking stupid. But the music choice was, was fucking hilarious. Even worse. Like, you don't come up with something. Now, I'm not, I'm going to say later on. That's why this is so confused for me. It's so mixed. It, it, it makes me so mad. This is not how the flood should be released. No. This universe is so fucking stupid. Janine, a biologist, releases a fucking virus and, and it Let spreads. It. It's so stupid. Now, I will say, I will give the show this. The flood is done amazingly in terms but of the wasted. looks of it and the, the zombie and the horror aspects of it. They know how to do the flood. But yes, it is wasted. And, and instead, it's a pure fucking human hubris that leads to the flood being released instead of it being on Halo with the keys and his team and then the covenant. And it's it's a joint problem. You know, it got... I would have liked that they're under attack. Like, hubris is something that I would have, like, accepted. But, like, this is just pure human stupidity. Pure it's just stupidity. Like, yes. A biologist touched something. I have a problem with how fucking rushed this whole thing is. And and I'm surprised. I go on the Halo Reddit. Everyone is loving it. It's a fucking banger. This episode is fire. Uh, the ending was great. Nostalgic. Yeah. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. And somebody said they got emotional. Yeah. They were tearing up. What are you fucking talking about? I, I was hoping that I could be emotional. And perhaps it's because Alex was done two episodes ago, maybe two seasons ago. I was done last episode. None of this had any emotional resonance. Kai's big moment is deflated with yes. a stupid line. The dumbest fucking line ever, and it should be an epic moment, and I hope Kai is still alive at the end. I d doubt it, unless she's... Did we see a scene of her floating in yeah. space? I think some people pointed out or something. I don't fucking know. I she could she be alive. Uh, Laura was floating in space. Anyway, uh, this is just... <clears throat> And then during that, you saved all the budget for this, right? The space battle was literally three seconds, okay? I'm so surprised they didn't show it more. Uh, they only showed it when they were talking and looking in the thing, but they showed it for three seconds, yeah. and it made me so, so angry. And every time we're fighting Covenant, we're cutting to Perez's stupid fucking face in her helmet. We cannot see anything. They keep... Cutting away to the dumbest moments, the Arbiter versus Chief battle. Gotta make sure to have Maki there. Gotta make sure to have Maki crying for the R as if we give a fucking shit. It's supposed to be it emotional. Was really shitty she CGI. Just it looked like a cutscene to a video game done worse than what they could do. And I was completely <laughs> Knocked out of it. I I don't think that this was good. Yeah, it may be more Halo because you get fucking guilty. Spot. This is everything. We get is, everything in this episode. But it's done wrong. This is like three episodes 
crammed into a single episode and it's a facsimile of what's going on without any fucking heart without any emotion it's just action and then interrupting the action as much as they possibly can With for their stupid idiots stuff. characters like, oh, this is, we have and this, this. irrelevant pieces yeah. and it's fucking stupid the silver timeline is fucking stupid it's worse in every way than what we already have all the fucking established lore and this is dumb as shit and i'm 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 fucking i this i'm livid i have a theory that's gonna make you make it worse no okay i want to hear it and when kwan says run run we have to leave this place or when they say run to kwan i'm like yeah run from the fucking series Yeah. Go ahead and say your fucking thing. I think we're skipping the entire video game. No, I, I clear they're gonna do the video game in season three, be and then they'll blow up the Halo I, by the end of season three. I think that we skip we skip the entire game, and the it's it's gonna be Maki and Chief meeting the Grave Mind immediately. It knows you, Quan Ha. It wants more than to subsume you. At the beginning of season three, yeah, I think it'll be at the end, and they explode the whole thing, and then maybe the monitor you think we're getting is doing two some kind. They they're gonna have to fight uh, the monitor's forces, the installation's forces, the covenant forces, Maki versus Chief uh, for control of the Halo. But that's, that's Halo and two. And then by the end, uh, they decide to blow up the Halo. That's Halo one. Where the where the, the Arbiter meets well, the Grave Mind. Well, we're not talking that the the, ar the first Halo installation needs to explode before we meet the second Arbiter. You're talking about a second I Arbiter? Think we the are Arbiter dies in this episode. Yeah, this I Arbiter dies in this episode. Correct. So I think we're skipping Halo 1, and Maki is the person. No. It's not wow. It's not Arbiter really? Chief. It's Maki Chief. Wow. Why, could, do you really think they're going to introduce a new Arbiter? Or we, or I, they, I have no fucking they introduce clue. I a don't new, care. We have a demon here. She we have opposing she's sides. She's on the Covenant side. I gonna, a, yeah, she goes, I'm a demon. So she She's going to go meet the Arbiter. He's like, someone downstairs wants to meet you. We got kind of introduced to a grave mine in this episode. I think we skip Halo 1 entirely. We jump wow. to Halo 2, and Maki's now the Arbiter. Yeah, well, even if we... Uh, fine, I don't give a shit anymore. Mm. Go ahead and skip the first game, because I know you're going to fuck it up anyway. I know you're going to fuck up Avery Johnson. Like, might as well not even fucking put him in the series, because you'll just fuck him up. Perez? Yeah, exactly. Perez? Perez. Perez. And her dumb fucking face in the fucking helmet. And crying, literally being having to be babysat the entire fucking battle as if no other so soldiers are struggling. I hated it. The only part about it's it I banger, liked was Joe. the flood outbreak. And in fact, what's hilarious is this side plot with Soren and Quan and the flood outbreak had more tension and was more interesting than the main storyline because it like got sapped of all of its impact and 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 gravitas and. And it was just going through the motions, and it was awful. And then when he puts his helmet on, and he's ready for the fight, there's... They play the video they game music, right? They don't even play the dun, video dun, game dun, music. Dun, nope. Is I, they play the video game music, a, 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 no. a sound-alike, for a few seconds as he looks up at the Halo installation when he gets there. There's no fucking... Pillar of bottom. I fucking knew it. Instead, he crashes his sh a Covenant ship on the surface of Halo because he decided to punch the fucking console That's how he gets so, that, Cortana. so that Cortana can space magic into his hand. The files are in the, the computer. The writers are literally just, they don't know what the fuck to do. Like, they have die. everything yeah. written for them and they write themselves in the corners and they don't come up with clever uh, ways out of it i'm gonna punch the fucking console and crash. that's how because my glove you see this glove this was created by the human you, you, you know you know the forces but little did you know the, the one scientist secretly put in a way that you can have file transference when you punch shit with 
alien technology. Well, that's what he said. He's like, you don't know everything. And then he punches. It's space <laughs> magic. Yeah. And, and the <laughs> fucking plot armor. Why did you make Chief some kind of like, Chosen there's one? no tension. He's like going in there. We know he's not going to die because the whole thing is that he cannot die. If he doesn't want to die, he flips a fucking coin. The coin slows down in the air. It's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. It was a zero G quarter. <laughs> I know you feel it as the emotions try to conjure up over the stupid coin. Because Perez is like, and he's like looking at all the flashbacks of Perez telling him shit. I'm like, this is fucking stupid. I hated it. I fucking hated it. And I don't understand. Well, I guess that, you know, if you're Halo diehards and you liked the series, you like season one, then you're probably going to like season two. But th the only thing that this did well for me was the flood. I like the way they did the flood, but they f released the flood on Onyx. But Joe, this isn't our timeline. This is their timeline. Well, their timeline is fucking stupid. And the way they're doing it is stupid. And I have a right to point out how fucking stupid it is. How lack of characters that we yeah. give a shit about. How lack of there is a satisfying resolution to things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Guilty Spark sounds like shit. I guess it's not even Guilty Spark because it's a silver timeline. This is a fucking generic ass monitor. When you think of the flood, think of Janine. When you yeah. think of garbage, <laughs> think, of, think Janine. of Janine. <laughs> yeah. Janine! That is literally a microcosm of this entire series. They introduce a character in the last episode oh, of the know, last Janine. season for 10 minutes to do something fucking stupid. To literally release a galactic threat. That has nothing to do with the Covenant's hubris and this and that. It's just humanity is fucking dumb. It's her job, too. And she should have known it's better. It's her fucking job. She's a biologist. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were you saying Janine, about did Prometheus? You... Oh, the, yeah. like It's like Prometheus, where they found the dumbest scientist possible. And, like, the Janine whole... is part of yeah, it. She, she sticks she... her face in it. Yeah. Well, she's like, I wonder what this open tastes it? like. No! Yeah. But she didn't just open it. Did she you touched touch it. it? She, no! She had to have touched it because yeah. it's not airborne spores otherwise. No, I, but you, you, I wouldn't put it past this fucking series to just look at it and you're infected <laughs> if the writers need it to happen that way. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, I think that a lot of people who are watching this show are looking, f you know, we, we've talked about all the gross things where you're like, you're looking for something of value in yes. a pile of shit. Yes. And some people focus on like the little things of value they find. And I'm being like, serious. And I, I read through it. Oh, man, she do a wielded needlers. That's a cool scene. It, I, honestly, like objectively, a, a, a Spartan getting dragged with needlers, that is a cool thing that I like seeing. I like, I seeing, like seeing it in a better show oh, agreed. where I give yes. a shit about the person who's doing the needling. But yes. so you're focusing on and everything. And not cutting, around, cutting away to her fucking head and doing stupid shit. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, but so you're focusing on the things surrounding the scenes and they're focusing on the individual moment while ignoring the greater context. Yes. And like, you know. Because that's uh, all they can do at this point. That's fine. Look, it's not for me. That's not how I watch television shows. And I think that's the explanation people see the arbiter chief duel and they're like holy shit arbiter and chief are like two sides of the same coin right they both kind of defected from their 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 uh you know their species and then they're off doing the, like their own kind of thing and so seeing those these two things you know these two individuals duel it was kind of cool i love seeing the the, the power sword that scene's kind of cool the problem is the context is it's Maki's there and the, everything else leading up to it sucked. And so for th I think that's how why people are focusing on these individual that's moments. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. But the problem is it's surrounded by shit. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem that I have. And I've had with this series is we do get individually cool moments. There are parts of the Fall of Reach yeah. that are cool. The problem is everything else around it leading up to it, the characters within it are not good. And we have a direct comparison from books uh, and from games and even other series that are done by other creators that are infinitely better and you could have used it as a template to make this thing fine. Cool. And so you made something bad and I'm glad that there Romantic are... Romantic comedy music. Yeah. 
It's like you all you have to do is play that scene. And it's like this is the problem. I'm gonna play this. Scene. <laughs> yes. yes, it's like that. What was Wake Me Up Before You Go Go? <laughs> not available. Like they the couldn't Param- even Paramount didn't have that kind of money to have the yeah. Halcyon is, class. They mentioned a Halcyon class, but they couldn't even bother to have the Halcyon class that shows up be named the Pillar of Autumn. They couldn't have a badass scene where the fuck is, some human fleet show up and start firing. Even if they don't win the space battle, it just shows up for two seconds, and then we cut away again to whatever we're we doing. We saw one get glad, like cut in half. That mm-hmm. was neat for two seconds. Yeah, good. You saw someone get cut. We saw that in season one. We saw better fights. Frankly, we saw better fights in season one. We saw more variety of of Covenant in season one. Yeah. There's no grunts here. There's no wormworms or the big fucking ass hunters. There's none Oops, of that yeah. shit. There's none of that shit. It all culminated into a single fight with the Arbiter at the end with every once in a while three seconds of a cutaway of a space battle that you don't ever get to really see. Now, the one long sequence is that I thought was cool. is like, all right, everybody suit up and get ready. And boom, the whole thing explodes because they got shot early and then they're flying in their little suits and that was cool. And and But then the whole time, Kai is babysitting Perez because she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. She literally trained for two days as a Spartan 3 and the Spartan threes are incompetent well what's what's weird crybabies what's weird about that is perez had just finished coaching someone else and it's like look i'm terrified you're terrified but i've got your back you can't be scared i I can't be scared because i gotta watch your back you can't be scared because you gotta watch my back and then they completely forgot that they wrote all the scenes with her being like okay i've I've, I've emotionally figured it out and i've and then she just turns right back into a cry the the, the dumb drama where chief had to go this way but then he has to decide to go this way it's so transparent it's written in that that particular way to give us some false turning of the moment and some but that's so it was dumb what he was it doing was. anyway and then when he decides to come over the chief decides to help he puts his helmet on and i'm like too late wrong music as well playing it, everything is just wrong oh, um, I was for that. and then maki i'm no one's pet after literally branding herself and telling the arbiter, you know, all this shit last episode, and then she try, and then she erases Cortana, and then steps on her, and Cortana goes into the motherfucking, you know, Covenant, Covenant ship. ship, and that's why. And then Chief shows up. That was another. I'll give the show. So there's moments of yes. good scenes. Chief showing up, great scene. Uh, he's he's fighting in the fog, and it's it's Chief, and he's back, and they give him some glory. Okay, the fucking flood outbreak and the disgustingness of the tentacles and all that stuff. Well done. The Arbiter fight. I think it's stupid. I think it's poorly staged. The camera's swinging around. It's pure CGI. They have to make sure to show Maki every five seconds. I didn't like it, but it's better than. <laughs> Than fucking Quan throwing chains in a goddamn spirit journey in, in that desert, I'll give it that. It's just uh, uh, it sucks, and this was not a good payoff, in my no. opinion, for for all of this. Uh, you know, <clears throat> this season was supposed to be, hey, we learned and we're gonna do better, and you know, we understand now. And Chief had. His fucking armor off the whole time. They said, oh, you didn't like the fact that I took my helmet off? Here, go. I'm going to take my fucking whole armor off. And I'll put it on for the last episode. I was like, fuck you, fans. And then we're doing everything worse. We have all the material there. Oh, I didn't bother playing the games. Apparently. I don't know anything that happens in the games because I don't it's give a shit. Great. I want to tell my own story with Maki and Quan And these dumbass flood are killing everybody. And then they stop right before they eat Quan. Joe got excited for one second. Joe's like, oh, yeah. Oh, Quan's in. Oh. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. There's like character deaths left and right. Is it really? Is it really character deaths left and right? Kai, is she really dead? Parangovsky, is she really dead? We didn't see a body. She's going to be, I think she's going to be the new, whatever happened to Keys. The only one that legitimately died, Soren's wife. She got infected. Did we see her body? I'm trying to figure out what were the emotional moments. Because for the Kai one, they didn't let you. They, they didn't, didn't do it. Set it up they right. didn't let it. They didn't they let didn't, it breathe. Yeah. They didn't let it do anything with that. That one I would have cared about. Yeah. But then. The but other I didn't one, care about it. No. Just no. like I didn't care about Vanek. You fucked up yes. the emotions yeah. and you fucked up those the gravity characters. of the situation. This was good. You're characters. trying to do the pretty and the action, and it's just that's fine. But there's nothing behind it. I no. think they're trying to do the Soren and his wife is probably the thing everyone's talking about, where she like sacrificed. She you know she goes stays back and she doesn't do the zombie thing and. 
you know, I think I don't feel an emotion with it, but I think that's what people were talking about. Yeah, but five seconds like of the thing. This is the opportunity to give some amount of fan service and connect it to the games. Nah, fuck it. I'm gonna punch a console, and space magic is going to transfer Cortana into my arm and make me survive. Not this human ingenuity. Not human ingenuity. In- in- fuck! I can't even talk. I'm so fucking pissed. So she's like, "Uh, chief, you dumbass. I've got Bluetooth. I can just." You know, yeah, wirelessly this, transmit myself. And he's like, I would have like, expected that, but it's brand new. <laughs> this is so emotional. He said, yeah. like, oh, I'm pushing it. Yeah. Katana. Four. You don't know everything. Three. It could have been. I would have accepted that's that. Not too. How, that's not how computers work, Chief. Come on. And he's okay. writers. Uh, it does in. Uh... This is going to hurt. <laughs> You're going to save up a badass line then for Kai's death? Away, though, this then is you going cut to away hurt. To Perez. Oh, no. So, I was like, wait. So if we, I cut away to Perez's fucking face one time, more time. Season time. three. Every time something happens. <laughs> so we've established that you can crash ships and other ships and then they blow up. Especially a smaller ship into a bigger ship. But, yeah, they, about but it? yet humanity loses two ships for every one ship. Yeah. I can bring that down to one to one if you start crashing <laughs> human ships into covenant <laughs> right, ships. Genius right there. Mm-hmm. I can't hold them for long. A voice yeah. says when and then the Quan is not eaten by the fucking flood. Because the because f- the, the protector, protector and the, the grave protector. are possibly grave mind. Grave we mind, don't know yeah. his his plans. It could be a protector. It could be a forerunner. It could be the monitor. It's a, who knows in the silver timeline? I don't fucking know. I'm not intrigued to know. I don't care to know. And they found a way to keep Quan alive. I was so like, that don't you take three, this away from me? <laughs> no. In and season three, did. she's important. She is <laughs> the protector, and he is the demon, and Maki is the demon. They're all demons and protectors. Yeah. And then I couldn't, I couldn't stand it anymore. Then and, and it's like going on I about the final equilibrium. I checked. This out. is the flood. Mm-hmm. They name the, they name it. And Halsey super excited by the flood, and her daughter is terrified. She just watched everyone get eaten alive and like murdered, and a slug crawl into a woman's brain but, and explode. But and Alex, she's, she's infected by the flood, and she's her mind's being controlled. She, she's only acting that way because she's infected. No, well, she also just—it's the same thing when she gets excited about science at all. She's like, "Oh, well, by the way, your dad's dead." But let me look, look at all this science shit. And so that's just the, how they're yeah. trying to write Halsey. But he's, I don't, I don't he's think he's death. Yeah, just passed over by these two and yeah. go fuck. Yeah. And then fucking uh, Halsey is infected with the flood and Miranda saves her mm-hmm. and puts her into this doesn't Cryo obviously chamber. this doesn't happen in the our lore, but it happens here. And I guess fucking Miranda's going to come up with a cure for the fucking flood. Really? So isn't like the whole point of all the halos is that there is no cure for the flood and you have to do the most extreme measures possible, which is the, why the rings were created in the first place. Don't and worry like you, about and what, they have, what halo means. Don't worry about any of the major but, I mean, things that's that what matter. I, that's how I'm thinking. Yeah. I, but like, it, it doesn't matter. Let's doesn't see matter. what Let's see what they give us. All right, let's see what that, they give it us. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's, I, mean, I think these people also have thought about that, I don't know, seven episodes ago. That's why they're happy with yeah, it. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm dead like for, for, for the, the viewers at home. This is like one of the most serious problems with the entire fucking thing is like the flood are not something that humanity has the technology or the know-how or ingenuity mm. to cure because the forerunners did it and they are light years ahead of us despite being from forever ago, and which is why the it. halo, the ultimate weapon is there to, you know, Release solve the flood, you know, kind of fix the fix the problem. Yeah. And so if Miranda and just destroy, simply cures I mean, really the, flood the flood in a broken fucking lab okay that is with filled it. with fucking zombies okay in two it. episodes. <laughs> Look, we're going to have a big problem. I'm not. Well, they're going to have a big problem. Yeah, we won't have a big problem. <laughs> Paramount's probably going to get bought, sold, laugh. chopped up, and whoever buys it can decide to either kill this series or, in, or put a whole bunch more money and find new people to make it better. Do you feel all the emotion when Maki starts cry, crying for the Arbiter? He does a thing with her mouth. I didn't feel any emotion with Soren. No Kai. Miranda, the Arbiter. I like the Arbiter. 
I, I liked it, but I didn't care. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, her crime. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck so, my well, Whatever. I was like, yeah, it was a good fight. Well, Because he does the speech, or you're a soldier, or I'm a soldier, kill me. And the yeah. chief does the honorable thing, and he fires. He's like, I know what he said. He's like, do you? Mm-hmm. Like, he said this. He's like, That's I'm not- a soldier. He's a soldier. Coach he wants me to translate. kill him. Yeah. <laughs> I killed him. He said I was the best man ever. And I'm so cool. 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 You wrote ten plot lines and one worked out good because we've seen it a thousand times, and we liked it. Quan keeps uh no uh the the kid keeps asking Quan where his mom is. Mm-hmm. And Soren goes over there. So that's very sad, and you were very sad when you realized that his mom is gone. Like, Moss is real. I know <laughs> your mom's one now. And that's Miranda is said. now stopped the progression. Somehow, I guess freezing stops the progression. Yeah, that's what she and, said. And she's stuck on Onyx, surrounded by the flood. <laughs> Maki opens the Halo installation and goes inside. Doors close behind her. Oh, she says an amazing ever... line. Chief does the thing. Before... What is her line? There's a tempest within me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and... <laughs> And then Chief uses his uh, chosen one powers to open the door, and then he goes in. And then, uh, and I hated the the storytelling device. We started the episode with Chief already talking to the monitor. Mm-hmm. No build up, completely dispels it, makes <laughs> the scene fall something? flat. I was like, did I miss an episode? Yeah. This is dumb. They think they're fucking Quentin Tarantino. There was no feet. telling shit out of order. <laughs> Oh, there'll be feet next season. We oh, got the cheeks. cheeks. We got cheeks last season. We yeah. need feet this next season. It's be fucking great. Mm-hmm. And then Chief goes inside, and then the monitor meets him, and they talk about some stupid bullshit and about the who. Session. That's what she said. That's what you said. I don't know. I gotta choose one of you. There's stuff ahead. Here we go. He wants to meet you in the darkness, and then he's gonna send both of you on different trips to try to figure stuff out because we're gonna skip the first game. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with it. Give that. me a final verdict. Three. Three out of ten for this episode. We'll go. We'll do this episode, and then we'll do the season two uh, uh, as a whole. And fuck, I should have looked up our rating for the season one. Yeah, for me, it's going to be a three. Um, everything was too fucking rushed. I don't like the fucking edits. It was all over the place. Yeah, there were some good moments. I wouldn't say great moments. There were some good moments here. But again, it was wasted. The flood looked pretty fucking cool. Wasted with uh, the characters I don't like. I I didn't want to see... Cut to them. Okay. Quan yeah. is still alive. <laughs> you, you knew she wasn't going to die. Yeah. It's like, come on. I was like, look, sacrifice yourself. Yeah. I was like, let Michael Jackson live and have Quan die. Yeah. All right, we could do that. He's got to become a zombie until I get the Thriller music video. Yeah, and just uh, everything here was just wasted. Like, every, like you see, uh, the fans are like, okay, that's cool. I see that in the background. I see this in the background. It's like, oh, you didn't see this part. It's like, yeah, I see it. But like Alex said, it's like the complete story was trash. Talking yeah. about trash. fucking needlers. All trash. Right. Yeah. Needlers are cool. I like needlers. Yeah. But yeah, I, I agree with you. I think that the, the parts that I really enjoyed, I enjoyed for all of the wrong reasons. Like, I couldn't believe how hilariously bad the release of The Flood was. Yeah. An actual, yes. I imagine, doctor this is worse of biology. Than Prometheus. It, it's really bad. It's like she she wanted to touch it with her bare hands. She and did. she. And, and, then so, and, and, and then she lies about it, and then she just starts touching and other people, and she doesn't them. wash her hands, and, and, and giggles she about eats, it. eats an apple, and the most hilarious, again, the most hilarious the fucking super music. Super upbeat. And it's crazy. The com- like, comedic romantic music. It is, yeah. it is fucking wild. So I thoroughly enjoyed that for all of the wrong reasons, and that's actually the part of the episode I like the most, because of how batshit <laughs> fucking insane you have to be yeah. to be sitting down you and going, that's, it. ship it, cut it, we did it. You know, congratulations, everybody. Yeah, so I, I don't think that this is a very good episode. I think we got really bright moments that if you ignore everything else, if you're walking through life with <laughs> blinders on and you're like, I like that part because there were swords, then then you, you can like this episode. But for me, I, I'm trying to bring in all of the aspects of the episode yeah. together. And when you do when you do that, at least for me, it's below average. It's kind of a bad TV show. No, I'm talking uh, rating for episode eight. I did. Three. What is it? Three and three. Now, I looked it up. Episode 9, because the last season went 9 episodes, gave an 8 out of 10. 
and it's reminding me how badass that that final sequence is where he's fighting multiple elites on that desert planet and the ships coming down and all sorts of stuff and it was a satisfying somewhat battle sequence and here we get we get none of that we get the spartan threes that are incompetent we don't get enough time for Ka kai's sacrifice no. we don't see the space battle there's small little cutaways and it's hidden it's me, and we me keep me cutting face, away to yeah. perez's face and then we and then what there's the final battle between him and arbiter he fights one elite i don't even really care about arbiter because i know this is an Ar arbiter and he's just a random arbiter that's fighting on their it's side time, like... it's it's average at best and then he and that's supposed to be better than the last season finale no i don't think so and then treating the flood this way treating all the care the how rushed this was like this could have worked if maybe it was three episodes long yeah. okay yeah. And you're giving gravity to each thing and you're expanding each thing and eh. but nah not like this the whole uh, episode from the I'm flood going... would be great so three out of ten three mm -hmm. out of ten i i'm gonna have to fucking agree a three out of ten and it only gets those three points because what Alex said, it made us laugh out loud when the, the flood was being released. Then I'll give it one point for the flood effects. Despite how stupid it was, the flood is released on Onyx and, and it's the rushing through it. I think it was terrifying. I liked the horror yeah. aspects there. And you could see that if they had better writing, if they had better story beats, that this would be so good. So good. And then I'll give you another point for the Arbiter fight, even though it's like average. It that should be we should be getting that kind of stuff regularly. And and, and to me it was just a fight with an elite. That's all it was. And he was in the way of the door. <sighs> Three out of ten. Now, the final verdict for the entire season two. To remind y'all, I don't know what y'all gave it, but I gave season one a three out of ten. We brought up war crimes. We brought up Maki fucking making out with him. We brought up all the like, <laughs> Quan's bullshit. Uh, you fucking asshole! You know, just being, uh, just ruining everything. The, the fucking secondary plot lines that never really connected with the main plot lines. That went nowhere. The fucking bull haircut, naked cheeks all over the place season one was a fucking disaster do i think season two is better yes what's y'all's rating for Four. season two you can give I, it one point more one point more because i thought like in the beginning it, i thought it was on the right track i was like there's some episodes that were a little bit better but like i best i could do is like another point yeah. for the whole season best i the, can do <laughs> this is a pawn star <laughs> yeah exactly it's like best look I can do. you ruined everything you guys already checked out you checked out like midpoint i just didn't care anymore it's like all right let, can we just kill kwan no so we're waiting for that mm -hmm. no never gonna happen super important yeah for it's not worth your time not worth your subscription yeah, I mean, I think that this this season had some pretty bright moments. I think that the the little 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 bits we got of the Fall of Reach, some of it was really cool. But the problem is, you look at the whole season, and the Fall of Reach was kind of brushed yeah, over right. super quick. So while we did get some cool stuff, one episode, super super fucking fast. While we did get a couple hand to hand fights, they were super quick. They're few the um, cutaways, yeah, and then and then cutaways. I I don't think that the side missions and the side characters that we constantly cut mm -hmm. to did this season any favors. It's the same problem. Ultimately, Soren and his son and his wife did nothing this season. Nothing. Like, the Flood would have been released without them. So, like, they... I'm just trying to think Quan of like... Quan incompetently loses their son, and then they regain their son. Yeah. That's what happened, Alex. They do do something. They made up for Quan's idiocy. Yeah, but so, like, but they're in the exact same position that they were together. Like, like the rubble situation, they could Oh, I been, agree with you 100%. Yeah. I'm just saying, they, that's, that was the whole point of that. Yeah, we had Kessler back, and we lost the mom. We yeah. traded the mom for Kessler. Yeah, it just feels like a, a bit of a massive waste of time and a massive waste of momentum. Um, yeah. This isn't the, this isn't a show for me. Uh, I I don't I can't watch a TV show and only think of the bright spots when they happen and ignore all of the other stuff that led me led me there. So again, I mean, if you like that kind of thing, then you know, you know whatever, you know, enjoy. <laughs> Took my head to you. Yeah, <laughs> but you? it's it's not. If we're we're happy for you. Where we are. We're I mean, seriously, I, I I actually have a buddy who loves the dumbest shit on earth, and he's the happiest dude I know. I and if anyone, if everyone shit. could be like Charles, <laughs> everyone would be much happier. But I am not like him, and I love him. 
Like, I, I love that guy. Right. So the, I just can't do it. So this show isn't for me. I think this entire season is pretty bad, yeah. storytelling-wise. Yeah. And I just don't think that this the visual spectacles that we get every now and then can lift it up to average or below average. I actually think that this is a bad TV show, especially with the reference of, like, the original <laughs> – uh, you yeah. know the original games so just, and some of the books. So it's like I don't think that this is a good TV show. I we I, just watched the Crow trailer, the fucking Crow reboot. This feels like the Crow of the fucking of this. They have it and they're redoing it and they're redoing it worse and hokey and dumb. Yeah, and then and their excuse I don't it doesn't resonate with me. It was like oh we're doing actually our own that's thing. more faithful to the Crow than this is. Yeah, to the, probably. God, anyway, I'm sorry. That's, yeah, it's, so it's like I, I I'm not I'm not in. I, I think this is a bad TV show. I think it's a three. I, I just think that I don't necessarily want to see a third season. If people want it, watch it. Have your family watch it, and then you'll get it back. Unless Paramount goes out of business and gets sold to somebody. Um, but 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 what did you give the first season? I don't remember. Probably a two or a three. Either two or three. I didn't think the first season was was good at all. Right. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking, and you said that this is better than the first season. I mean, so the, I, I guess was, I was kind of expecting you to be in the four territory. There are high points in the first season that I think actually may be better than yeah. the ones that we get I here. Yeah. So that. I think it's kind of a wash. Yeah. It's like honestly, Quan is better this season than last season. I know that's you guys have, you know, made fun of me for last week, but I think Quan's been improved a little bit. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. She's a little she's bit. not a one, she's a two. Like, Wait a minute. Yeah. And so it's like sub so, but <laughs> everyone pointed out. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm I, know. Sorry. I know. But I mean so it's like I think that both of these aren't very good and both of them clearly aren't for me and so Yeah. 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 Is bad. I guess there's only four. I guess uh, there is no other Spartan twos in this universe. I remember that. They're all like, dead. I guess everybody's like the the universe is nice not as big it, and not as expansive as the actual universe. The silver timeline there was only four. I guess eight because of Cobalt. the Cobalt team. Anyways, so oh, Joe, did you give your rating? Yeah, I did. I'm fucking I twisted. gave it a four. Four still overall, yeah, right? Yeah, That's kind of more of in line what I expected. If I go and I look at my individual scores for this season, that That's they were I, generally yeah. higher. You know, we we hit and we hit a nine at one point, but for parts of the episode, uh, but mostly sixes. Every once in a while, when we'd have that filler and Quan, we dip into you know below average, and so I could see. I'm maybe giving it a, a six above average, but I, I am not there. I'm not there. Uh, <laughs> I think it's right. It, I mean, I'm over here at five. But when you compare this and, and you realize how rushed this ending is, how little I care about everyone, how this isn't Master Chief, this is John, this is Master Cheeks, all these decisions that they are making that are objectively worse, and the Halo community hanging on to stupid shit like, wow, that's banger and fire that she used. They, she used two needlers that happens for two seconds in an episode. That's not, and, and it's, I'm just... Oh, uh, you clearly, I guess, maybe I, I just I, I don't understand it and I'm not going to try to understand it. I'm happy no. for you that, that this was awesome and you've been waiting for something like this forever. And maybe and I do think that it's getting slightly better than season one, but not consistently and not in the ways that I think it's worth a Paramount Plus subscription to to to. To lose Peter Jackson's version of, of Halo, to lose Neil Blomkoff's version of Halo, a fucking video made 10 years ago like that looks like a fan film are, is better than the shit that we're getting here. The focuses are all in the wrong places. The drama is, is, is average at best, written by hack writers, a new writer, a new director every episode, a unified vision that sucks. It is a four out of ten when you factor in all that. Yeah, it's better than season one on the whole, but there are moments in season one that hit higher than here. I'm just so confused by this. And and as a flagship series, I don't think Halo is being paid respect. And no. if you thought this last episode finally got it right, why did it take two fucking seasons? I think they did finally get it somewhat right but they rushed through it and it's like why because you fucked up you're the one that had to rush through it because you were doing other dumb shit the whole time you have to be held to task for doing dumb shit the whole fucking time 
So now everybody's like, I'm so excited. I hope the haters don't cancel season three. It's not us. It's not us. The fans have told people, Paramount what they wanted to see over and over, and they're not listening or they're half listening, and then they expect more money. I think they're going to get less and less money when you need to get more and more money. I mean, Paramount, like Alex said, might not even be here in two years, Paramount Plus. So if we get see, and now we're going to talk about season three. And Angry Joe's going to be like, well, maybe season three is going to be better. No, no, I'm not fucking doing it this time. <laughs> I, even if they get a season three, I think it's going to be exactly the same. It's going to be wildly inconsistent. It's going to have somewhat good episodes and terrible fucking episodes. Correct. And it's going to add new lore and all of the new lore sucks. Just yeah. to remind people that <laughs> our our season score isn't the average, and so no, cause like, I know we're about to get that as well. Yeah, I just want to make sure because it's like a lot of the times you can watch a movie and there's some cool parts to it, and then you you see the ending and you're like, oh man. And this is how I feel after five minutes of finishing it. We don't have time to formulate our thoughts and intelligent arguments on this. We literally have to film right now because I gotta get on a I fucking still plane hate it. in a few minutes. <laughs> I still hate it. And I still fucking hate it. <laughs> Probably it'll get worse as I think about it more and more and find more inconsistencies. Yeah. I, I, Can you imagine if Kai was like, Chief, you're not gonna make it. You, I mean, you need to get to the Halo. You can't make it. I could buy you some time. The music rushes. So the sacrifice yes. feels for something. Look at Joe. That's how but I'm then, feeling. But then... We ruin it by cutting back to Perez. Perez. Be like, oh, what are they about to do? Oh, you should, you guys should see you guys that. Should but see watch this. my face. Oh, Ooh. that's gonna hurt. Ooh. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess it's gonna hurt. <laughs> I guess. Punch I guess. it. Just punch it. That's that's the whole season. This is gonna hurt. And cut away to Perez's face. Well, I guess face. we're wrong because like we were wrong about. I don't twist, give a fuck. Uh, metal I don't give a fuck. So I think actually we're right, and most people do not think that this is a faithful halo series that's badass you what no. we have is because we're the only a uh, select few making reviews for this because nobody else gives a fucking shit and we are you getting smart. mad at it then we attract the people that love it and and try to prove us wrong or whatever i don't i just want to see a care. good show all right yeah. if i have to no. Watch this. Paramount. I want it to be fucking good. I don't think Paramount cares anymore. Not a no. single fucking copyright claim. We have your claim. subscription. Doesn't Boy, did they give a shit in season oh, one. Yes. I think they're checked out. Yeah, Joe, go ahead. Show whatever you want. Oh, oh shit. Someone's watching it? <laughs> hey, you're paying. A complete turnaround. Yes. You're paying customer. All right. Season yeah. three will be good, guys. Wait, we'll wait, we'll wait for season three. Along with Twisted Metal. So Alex two. thinks they're going to skip <laughs> Collectors or uh, Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, and, and I think that they're going to do the second half of Combat Evolved. But they're going to fuck it up. Now, the only thing is in two years time or whatever it takes to make this thing. If you do the trailer and it is nonstop. It's fucking Marines. It's fucking Avery. <laughs> it's fucking, you know, uh, <laughs> fighting not only simultaneously. The Covenant show up in orbit and try to take over the station and chief has to get through the covenant he has to get through monitors forces because monitors doesn't trust him and he turns an asshole and but that is a bit, and then the, and then that and then that and then and then a warthog and then and it flips and then, all in the trailer oh, really high yeah over all the over the clip trailer. we try to make it over the really clip high. Yeah. and then in the trailer then i might get excited I, but other I'm than not, that because I'm just, they're gonna piece all those good those parts the, into one in minute one minute in one minute and then throughout when the we whole season it, it's that's 30, it's 29 that's minutes highlights. of shit and one minute of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Go ahead and yell at us uh, if you're a fan of it or if you're with us and on our side and disappointed by what is being done with Halo and what we could have had. You deserve better. Uh, then I think you all deserve better. Leave your comment in support of us. Thank you so much for going through this with us. It was very therapeutic oh, for you guys man. to come with us every week. I know some people watch your show and they're like, I've never even seen an episode yes. of Halo. It's like, I but you guys, you guys are the ones that, you know, I watch it through y'all. And you thank you for that's, saving that's me better. money. And it's that better. is the purpose of the Angry Joe Show. Thank you so much. If you like it, good for you, bro. If you hate it, hey, you know how we feel. And we'll see if this thing gets a season three. And I, I don't know, man. I, I'm actually think it could go either way. Canceled? 
I think it could get canceled. It feels like the budget is smaller. Yes. It feels like they need a bigger budget for what they need to do, and it's not going to happen. And so even if it is renewed, I think we're going to get a gimped version of what we could, you know, with the limited resources that they have. <laughs> And it's not even their fault because they have limited resources. So now you have to be extra talented to get it done. And they didn't even have the talent when they were given the resources. Well, all you got to do is call up uh, the guys who did Godzilla Minus One. And I don't care if the CGI is bad so here, here and there. But it's hey, like, they won an Oscar for CGI, which is yeah, they, they, confusing. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's a little confusing. Yeah, 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 that yeah, that some of it is kind of bad. But, I mean, they, they made that movie for, like, less than $25 million, yeah. right? Maybe so, that's it, because the, they did so much with so little. They, they can, I like that. <laughs> you, it's possible. The people are out there that can do it. Paramount just has to be able to find the talented people that want to do it. I think do we want David great, Wiener? Alex makes some great preps. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Paramount? Paramount? Like that. You give Swivel me a roll can. of aluminum foil, Swivel I can make can. you anything. Yeah, yeah. you can. Uh, do you think... <laughs> oh, no, I forgot what I was going to say. Do you think that... The wiener? Uh, the yeah, wiener. wiener. The yeah. wiener. So do you do you think wiener is has will should run season three, or, or you want a different showrunner now? But yeah, it might be Did just he do the, good enough to get a season three? It might be the higher-ups. Yeah, so. so this is what we were going to say. We, we oh, talked about fucking Terry. with uh, Terry. The Star Trek. So if, if it is the case where David was working with Paramount, and Paramount like, says, this is to Halo, exactly like the, if you didn't have been following... Terry Matalan was making Picard season two, and then Paramount said, rewrite this whole shit because this feels too much like Star Trek. And he's like, I don't know if you know what the title of the thing is. It's it called, is Star Trek. It's called Star Trek Picard. And they go, fuck you, make it something different. And so he was forced to do other things mm -hmm. according to Terry. That's just according to him. We don't know. If, if the situation was David actually had something good and the bits and pieces are, there, are his influence and the horse shit is Paramount's, yeah. we'll never know. They, then we'll never know. And so it's like, I don't know. Right. This isn't a case where it's like, I don't know if I want to call for the guy's job because I don't know whose no, fucking no, fault no, it is. No, no. Because we know I'm, that Paramount I'm not ready meddles. to trash Wiener. I was ready to trash the first showrunner. I think Wiener, uh, uh, like, if he can take feedback one more time because yeah. it's got slightly better, then, hey, maybe next season we can have a five out of ten. All right? All right. Yes, I got to go to the fucking airport. Thank you guys so Fooly much for watch. watching. Fooly I appreciate you. <laughs> and uh, you leave Make your comments again. down below, and I guess I'll see you here in two years when they fuck up season three. Bye.